so here we are in the big flight. Let's talk a little bit about size, shall we? Um, let's see, where do I start? Um, let's take a look at right straight ahead. We have um, Royal and Storm. Storm is going through a horrendous molt right now, but it's kind of a nice thing because you can see how little he is um, because his head doesn't have a big poof on top of it. Um, Royal just finished his molt and he's looking very nice. Royal is the smallest English budgie that I have. In fact, the only reason I'm sure that he's an English budgie is because he has a, a band on his leg. Um, he only weighs 47 pounds. 47 pounds. <laughs> that would be a big bird indeed. 47 grams. Um, uh, so just to give you perspective, these two up here, my little white angel is a normal parakeet. She weighs 40 grams. She is hefty. That's about as big as normal parakeets come. Her mate up here, Neon, is half normal parakeet and half English budgie. He got size, but no feather. So if you look at him, you think he's a little tiny bird, but in fact he is, he weighs 55 grams, which is bigger than Storm over there. Now, this is one, Storm is sitting right next to his mate, um, and they, they don't look too different in size, but in fact, um, he weighs 54 grams, I believe, she weighs 75 grams. So she is nearly double his weight. Um, one of the reasons I paired them is because he has magnificent feather when he's not in a molt. But if you look at just the size of their bodies next to each other, do you, can you see how much longer her body is than his is? Um, she does not have great feathers, so she doesn't look very big, but she's big. So when you're looking at size in a budgie, it's, there's two pieces to the puzzle. One of them is the actual bird's size, and the other one is the feather that's covering the size. Um, so the reason I bred these two together is she's got her mama's size. She's the biggest daughter um, that mama threw. She weighs 75 grams now, but she's only a year old. She'll weigh, she'll get bigger yet. He is three years old, three or four years old, so he's not going to get any more weight on him at all. And when you pick him up, you can feel he's a tiny little bird. But he has magnificent feather, and I got a baby out of these two, that little gray girl. She's got feathers from now through next week and she's got a great big long torso like her mama so I think I got mama's size and daddy's feathers and that's what I was after. So if you look at these birds up here um, you can see that um, rainbow there she's actually sitting down now she's resting her breast on the perch instead of standing up oh she just moved. Um, she is my biggest bird. She, but if you look at her, you can see her breast sticks out, but her waist sucks in. She's got nice budgie shape to her, um, but she's huge. She weighs 97 grams. Now, compare that to the little white bird angel sitting right next to her, who only weighs 40 grams. Um, the thing is, uh, Rainbow's feathering isn't really much better than a regular parakeet. She's just big. But in my breeding program, I can't let a big bird pass by just because she doesn't have nice feathers. Um, when you're looking for the kind of size that'll get you into the champion category in a, in a show, you're going to need average... Okay. You're going to need a bird... Champion-sized birds start at about 70 grams. 70 grams isn't that hard to achieve. Um, but it's not easy either. So um, they started at about 70, 70 grams as weight. However, you put big fluffy feathers on them and they look really big. So this girl right now doesn't look all that big, but she is, she's huge, but she just doesn't have any feathers. So the boy sitting next to her is Bubba. Bubba, by chance, he looks much bigger than her. He actually only weighs 70 grams. He weighs just about 72 grams. Um, wait, so he's 27 grams lighter than her. But he stands up nice and straight, and he has a great big fluffy poof on the top of his head that makes him look nice and tall, and a nice long tail. You see her tail? Very short. Short as a regular parakeet's. His is nice and long. So, um, it, it's a combination. Size in budgies is a combination of the actual size of the bird and the feather that you put on top of it. Um, let's see. Who else is around here? 
Um, that is, these are my two smallest males. That's Sprite, um, sitting next to Storm right there. And Sprite is the same thing as Storm. They both weigh um, in the low 50s in grams, which is barely bigger than a normal parakeet. For, by, by comparison, Neon, who's half and half, weighs 55 grams, but he has no feather. He's regular parakeet feather, so he looks smaller, but in reality, he's bigger. Oh, here, they're all in the same perch. Let's see if I can catch it. In reality, he's bigger than either one of those males. Um, but... Right, what I'm doing right now, so why would I bother to breed a bird that only weighs 54 grams? Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting started in the hobby and this is what I'm looking for. The things that you're looking for in an English budgie when you're going to show them is, um, there are four traits. There is size, that's the actual weight of the bird. There's feather, which is how much fluffy poofy you got on top of the actual weight of the bird. Then there's markings, and that can be, um, always you need the mask with the, with the um, row of dots around the necklace. Like, you can see these two guys here both have that. Um, but also, that can be things like, look at, um, uh, Jester here has a perfect band around the center of his belly. So he would score very high in a show because he has good markings for a pied. So all the mutations have different marking standards and you're always looking for those standards. Um, so one of the things that Spangles have to have is they're supposed to have a gray or black um, stencil around the outside of their feathers. And most um, Spangles lose that when they get older. But you do get some that keep it. So, for instance, this is Rainbow, and one of her things is she is two years old, and she still has those black um, markings around the edge of each of her feathers, um, which is rare. Um, it's much more usual for those markings to disappear completely, like on Neon here, and be replaced by body color. So when he was a baby, he had the black rim um, edging on each of his wing feathers. Now it's green because he got old, older. Neon is coming up on five years old now. Um, so um, the four traits, um, the size, the feather, the markings, and genetics... Um, and then the last is the shape, the body shape. So look at, um, Rainbow up there. See how her breast sticks out a little bit, but sh sh her waist sticks back in again? You got, um, Bubba right next to her, same thing. He stands up a little straighter, which is desirable. Um, she squats a little, but she's just resting right now. She, she, they'll rest their belly on the edge of the, um, uh, the perch, um, just when they're hanging out. So, um, so by contrast, look at, um, Coco up here. Coco is straight. She doesn't have any shape to her. There's no curves. She's just, she's a very, very tall bird. She's big. She weighs 83 grams or something like that. She's a really good size bird, but she doesn't, she doesn't have the shape. So I'm breeding her to Porky, who is a little bird, but he has the nice breast. He has fabulous feather, but he only weighs 57 grams, um, and he's just short. Um, so I'm going to cross the two and look for that baby that has his feather and his shape on her tall size. Um, so uh, it's the four traits, size, shape, feather, and markings, or genetics. I always call it markings and genetics, same thing. So, for instance, look at um, my little girl right here. She is a year old, and she has no sign of blue filling in on her feathers. She still has the nice black um, edging around each of her wing feathers. You can just barely see it here. Now, um, some people might look at her and say, "Doesn't I saw a black feather on there. Come on, Sky, move around. Let me see you. There she is. So she has one feather on her wings that's black. It's solid black, like a regular budgie. Um, and then you go, oh my gosh, she has a flaw! She, well, here's the thing, um, before she goes, if, if I were going to show her, which I can't because she's not, she hasn't got my band on, but if I were to show her, or when I will show one of her babies, if a spangle has one black feather, you pluck it right before the show. Um, that's how they end up getting those perfect little necklaces, too. They pluck all the little feathers out and leave a nice even row of black spots. 
so I'm not looking forward to that. I've never plucked a bird before, and all my birds like me, so I'm kind of not happy about the whole idea. Um, I, I may just uh, have somebody um, do it for me and pay them or whatever. So, um, But anyway, so size is um, a function of both weight. Like, for instance, there's Bubba sitting right next to Sky. Sky weighs more than Bubba but he's taller and stands up straighter. Um, and he has a, a, just the, the big poof on the top of his head that she lacks. She's cleaning herself. See, see how her head is a little bit smaller than his? That's common for hens to have a smaller head, but she actually outweighs him. Um, he just has better feather than she does. So um, it's uh, the, a size is a combination of two different traits. And what I'm doing is, this is gonna be my, my first big year breeding. It better be. Um, so I am looking for, uh, I'm not breeding any birds that don't have at least two of the four traits. And next year when I'm picking chicks, they will have to have three of the four traits that I'm looking for. Size, shape, feather, and markings. Um, so that's it. <laughs>